Hey guys, what's up? It's the Third Knight here. Today I have a guide for you on what the Mage Arena is and how to get a God Cape, as well as access to the God Spells on the regular spellbook. The God Cape is easily one of the best capes in old school RuneScape and the God Spells are commonly used to PK with, so it is definitely something you should think about getting if you weren't before. Before I get into the details, I just thought I would give you a quick overview of the Mage Arena. Basically, the Master of Battle Magic, Collodion, has created an arena in order to test your ability to withstand his trials. If you can survive his mage arena, then he will teach you the powers of the gods themselves and you will obtain one of their staves and capes. So put simply, you need to kill 5 monsters in a row with only magic combat spells. Please note this is the mage arena, not the mage training arena as the two get confused easily. The requirements for challenging Claudian and completing mage arena is 60 plus magic, as well as access to runes for combat spells, a knife or other slashing weapon for cutting through spiderwebs, and a prayer potion or defense potion and food. Players who have level 37 or higher prayer will find this an absolute walk in the park as they will have access to the magic protection prayer, so that is highly recommended as well as enough fire, air and death runes to cast around 100 fire blast spells. Now I will explain two potential setups you can use for completing mage arena. The first is for a player with level 37 or higher prayer. So as you can see full mystic will do absolutely fine, I have the addy gloves because I think they are a slightly higher magic bonus. Amulet of Glory, an Unholy Book which gives a healthy 8 plus prayer bonus, and a Team Cape because at the time I didn't have anything better, and I believe it gives a tiny bit of extra defense bonus, not that that's needed. In the inventory, I have 100 casts of Fire Blast, which is plenty, as well as a knife to cut through the spiderwebs should I need to run away at any point during the fights, and a prayer potion so I can keep protect from magic prayer on the entire time, and then also some emergency food in case your prayer drops or something similar. The second setup is aimed at someone who is only 60 magic and doesn't really have any other levels. It is a very minimal setup shown, so if you have the levels, feel free to use Mystic or the best magic robes you can and add it to what is on screen. The inventory consists of once again 100 fire blast spells and the knife, although this time there is a super defense potion. This will be useful for tanking the monster's hits and could be substituted for a regular defense potion if you're low on cash. You could also bring a magic potion to provide an extra boost to your magic level, and then the rest is all food. Lobsters is the very minimal food I would use, with sharks being the recommended food to bring, especially if you are one defense pure. Now I will explain how to get to the mage bank, which is where you'll gear up for the fights. The easiest way of doing this will be to pull the lever found in a small room near the entrance to West Ardoin. Only bring a knife or your slashing weapon so that you're not risking much, as this lever will teleport you to high level wilderness so there is always a chance of being PK'd. After you have pulled the lever, run north and cut the spiderweb, then run west to a building and cut through two more spiderwebs to get to a second lever, pull this lever and you will now be inside the mage bank. Now withdraw the items you need for whatever setup you are using and get ready to fight. Before I explain the fight, keep in mind the mage arena is in high level wilderness and it is possible for other players to mage you while you are in the arena. Only magic attacks will work in there, however there is always a possibility of being PK'd so please keep that in mind and only bring items you are willing to lose. Once you are all set up and ready to fight, turn on autocast for the spell you will be using and talk to Collodion in the Mage Arena bank. He will check that you have the minimum required level of 60 magic and challenge you to a duel. If you agree to fight, you will be transported by him into the Mage Arena. Turn on the protect from magic prayer if you have it, otherwise sip your defense and or magic potion you will now need to defeat 5 forms of Claudian. Each form is successively stronger and will be more difficult to defeat. If you are low on food or prayer and need to leave for whatever reason, run down the stairs of the main fighting area or the mage arena and then run north to a lever, pull it, now slash the spiderwebs north of you and then go back to the mage bank. You will need to talk to Claudian again to reinitiate the fight, however you will start from the monster you were last up to. That's pretty much all there is to it. Once you've defeated all of the forms, you'll be teleported back to the Mage Bank, speak to Collodion again and he will ask you to choose a god to represent in the Mage Arena, step into the sparkling pool and pray at the statue of your chosen god, a god cape will appear on the ground in front of you. If you want a different cape, then drop your current cape and pray at a different statue. Please note that you can only have one god cape at a time in your possession. After you've gotten the cape, talk to the Chamber Guardian and he will reward you with the staff of the god that matches your cape. The staffs give identical bonuses and apart from the runes used and the secondary effect, the spells are the same. They have a max hit of 20 or if a charge is used, a max hit of 30 and after using the spell 100 times inside the mage arena, the spells can be used outside it as well. 
So congratulations, you will now have your god cape and your god staff. If you wish to use the spell outside of the mage arena, take some runes for the spell of your choice, as well as a slashing weapon or knife to cut webs, and leave the mage arena bank by the lever and go east to the other lever. Cut the webs and pull the lever to go inside the mage arena. Remember, the monster of the god whose cape you chose will not attack you inside the arena as long as you have the staff and cape of the god equipped. The two other monsters of the gods you are not following will attack you and can hit up to 20s. Once you have cast the god spell 100 times, you will get a message in your chat that you now can cast the spell outside the mage arena. So that is the mage arena and the rewards of completing all of the activities associated with it. On screen now you can see the stats of the god cape and the god staves. I hope you found this guide useful. If you did, feel free to smash that like button and subscribe for future old school runescape videos. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you next video.